Hello everybody, I have this wood board from Goodwill. I will paint this with Espresso by Art Minds and I will apply about two coats with this paint. I was just attracted to this wood board but I can use even palette, wooden palette with this. And I have this rice paper. I'm going to put it in the comment section, the link to where you can get this. This is a rice paper with a pig's design so i will just tear the sides because i want this to look distressed and uh, try to avoid those the borders uh border design and once i am done with it i will just put it on the board so i will know where to apply or rub the tea light candle so now that it's done, I will paint this with a Waverly Hazelnut. So I am going to start now to just put this um, packing tape and then just stick it there and then pull it up and then it will show a very chippy finish. Once done, I will just apply Mod Podge onto the back of this rice paper. Only the parts that I rub the tea light will have the chippy finish. So that's the reason why I use the tea light candle. If not, it will not chip. Even if you're gonna, you know, um, I'm gonna put a packing tape there. So once I uh, already have uh, glued this onto the board, the rice paper, I have these bamboo stakes. I got this from Walmart. And I will start to just arrange this one there. So there will be a little of accent to this craft because it really looks so simple to me. So I just put it there. I glued it first. There's no need to put E6000 because you can see that on the video what I will do after this. And once it's ticked, I will start now to just put in all corners a jute twine so this time it will make it really very sturdy so what i'm doing there i just uh, wrap this in a crisscross manner just about three times then i'll do the same thing as well to the rest of the corners So you will see how I made it, how I put the jute twine. It really makes the bamboo stakes very sturdy. It's not going to fall off. So that's what I did. And then I just put the four corners as well. Wrap it with the jute twine. And then now I am going to just glue it onto that part there. So the rice paper, the big uh, rice paper is the design is right in the middle so now i'm going to start to just drill holes about two holes in uh, in all corners because i am going to put um, rustic wire so actually it's the thinnest rustic wire that i put there um I will show that to you after this. I will first put this raffia onto there, you know, just to decorate. Actually, the design of this rice paper already has like raffia on the back of the pigs. So I just put the raffia there and it will help the raffia as well. Once I glue it there, it will help the bamboo stakes. When I put the glue, it will help it really very sturdy. So like I said, if you're going to make this kind of graph, you need not look for a wooden board like this. Uh, it's hard to find. Uh, this is a rare find. So even if a wooden palette or any uh, picture frame or any wood that you have, you can use it. I'm just showing here how I designed it. And this is what I've meant. Uh, the holes there, I just put this rustic wire to make this... Um, 
bamboo stakes really permanently attached to the board so it's not gonna fall off over time and then i will just twist it there and secure the ends because it's a little sharp so i just secured it i uh, made a coil uh, i rolled it just like that and i'm going to set that aside i will put now or i'm sorry i'm going to make now a very simple bow so if you like this craft everybody if you like to see more of my craft ideas please go to my main page please click like and please give me a follow so you will be notified whenever i go live and then you will be also updated with my future craft so if i have future crafts it will just appear on your page if you give me a follow so all those cloth actually i got those from hobby lobby and i already have coffee stained it if you like to know how i made the grunge mix please drop me a message on the comment section and i'll get back to you i'm gonna give i'll send you the grunge mix so once i'm happy with the bow i'm going to tie it with a jute twine make it fluffy and then i'm going to just put it there i will glue it there I love the simplicity of this craft. Um, I like pigs as well, aside from horses and birds. I like pigs because they're um, smart animals. So that's according to my husband. That's why I made this craft, you know, and it, I really find this very pretty. So you can see on the video, I have this jute twine. It's a thicker twine. I just uh, glued it onto the board then to permanently uh, I'm sorry, to firmly glue this onto the board, I just uh, put a stiff felt cloth, glued it there to secure it. At the end of this video, you can see I already put artificial wheat or um, dried wheat, if it's all up to you, uh, what you call it. So I just uh, put a little of decor there on the side and there is something like a locket you know it's all up to you what kind of design you're gonna put or accessories so that's the finished graph everybody it really looks so pretty i love it and this picture the next picture is when i put the artificial wheat or dried wheat on the side so that's it everybody till next time